Well, folks, me again. Today, I'm going to be talking about something a little different, you know. This is going to be a very, very difficult video for myself, firstly, for me to do. So, this is just me talking about who's going to remember myself after my time is up on this earth, you know. I mean, I'm living my life the way I want to, but... At the same time, I'm pressured to think, you know, I'm old. I, I can't live forever, you know. One day, I'll just hang up my own bullet belts and wristbands. But at the same time, time I just want to live, you know, while I'm alive. I just want to be there for my sisters to the day they think, think I'm still the brother. You know, my sisters love me to death, you know. Even my own sister said she loves me. The most adorable thing was she crawled in my bedroom and laid there with me for about 10, 15 minutes. You know, I mean, I do work myself to death. I mean, at one point I won employee of the month at my workplace. You know, that's what the new thing they're doing at my workplace. And never thought in a long time I would actually get one, you know. So basically, it's just me and my darkest hours. I know this is going to be very, very difficult for y'all. To say the least, I would regale you with stories about how many times I've been denounced by fellow subs themselves. Oh, you're not a Christian. Oh, you're this, you're that. Yes, I do believe in God, and I do follow God. But like I said in previous videos, I'm not what you call the stereotypical white picket fence Christian. But at the same time, I do believe in free speech. As far as retirement wise, let's see, it'll be a long time before I even dare think about retiring, you know. Maybe I'll retire until I'm physically unable to walk, to say the least. <laughs> why you're asking oh what's with the lighting and everything well i'm turning i turned off the lights just to save money power bills expensive these days i can't stand duke energy as far as i could pick them up and throw them i can't stand big corporations i just can't stand them they're too busy milking the crap out of people to oblivion you know My honest advice I can give to y'all is just live while you're still young. That's what I'm doing is just living while I'm still young. Even probably in my 40s, I'll still have a midlife crisis. <laughs> I'll probably get like a battleship tattoo in, on my arm like you, you see in the cartoons. Like there's a battleship tattoo on, on their arm, under their muscles right here <laughs> I'll give people a few good reasons to hate me <laughs> oh he's got tattoos and everything oh he's gonna go straight to hell I'm like oh really I may be closer to God than you think unlike you I'm a real Christian in the flesh And many others watching may be closer to God than you think. And don't try to misinterpret what the Lord says. Because I would regale you with stories how people misinterpret the Bible. I mean, if you gather all the 
copies of the Bible and all the original chapters of the Bible they took out of the Bible and put them together, you would have a full-fledged Bible and you would see the actual truth and you would be blown away. Like, wow. The Bible foretold the future, yeah. Even the Greeks even tried to invent the steam engine. I mean, just look at early pictures of it. I don't know if this is true or not. Nobody knows you have to do your own research to separate the bullshit from reality. I'm doing good as far as I'm enjoying my days off. And for those watching, if I ever reached out to you, I treat you how y'all want to be treated, you know. I try to give you the absolute facts straight to the point, no bullshit. I mean, I try to be the nicest guy I can be, but when you try to tell them the facts, they become an entirely different character. It's like, oh, you betrayed the flock. Oh, you betrayed this. You betrayed that. No, I didn't. That's like saying Rick Fox pioneering the name Wasp, but Blackie Laws comes out and, say, and says, well, I'm not sure, pal. That's like saying... I mean, that's like saying Gene Simmons saying, oh, I invented the devil horns. Then Dio comes out and says, no, you didn't. I came up with the devil horns. It's a true fact. Dio invented the devil horns. Listen, like I said in previous videos, God can't change the past. Historians can. <sighs> but anyway, folks, hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, follow me on me on TikTok. God bless y'all, and I'll see you next video.